Yeah, I know. I shaved it. I didn't think uh, I wanted the, uh, you know, the virus to hang around too long anywhere, so I thought I'd shave it. In this episode of In the Shop, we're going to install an onboard air compressor in the pickup truck. Well, it's air show time out in Obion County, Tennessee. You know, I sent out a sheet <laughs> saying I was going to be filming today if the light was good, and it was good up to about 20 minutes ago when I was working on the cameras. And now we've got some guy, because we live out in the country, of course, that is going to be buzzing the fields in back of us. Uh, I guess I guess they're fertilizing it or, or probably putting Roundup on it or something. Who knows? It's that time of year to kill everything in the field, so it's probably some kind of chemical to kill everything so that they can plant. So I guess he didn't get the memo that I'm trying to do a video here today. May not be RV life, but guess what? It's country life. Well, here we are again. I'm Dave, and this is Down the Road We Go. This is an In the Shop series. We're picking up where we left off on working on the truck and we're gonna put the slide camper, the truck slide camper in there eventually. We've gotta get a few things done, one of which is to put an air compressor and a, just a two and a half gallon tank in the truck. So we took the old one out when we got the motor home, because it had a five gallon tank, and we really needed that five gallon tank uh, for the motor home to get enough uh, volume to blow up the tires if we need it. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a brand new 200-pound uh, via air presser in the back here along with a 2.5-gallon tank because we just need it for the air horn. And, you know, if one of these tires go down, they only hold about 65 pounds, so it, it'll have no problem whatsoever. What we're showing you here is this is the Happy Jack hookup for the – it's not really a hookup, but it's a happy – what they call a Happy Jack uh, um, for the slide-in camper. The camper slides in. The 2x4 is representing the side of the camper and how far out, how close it is to the wheel well here. So that shows us that we have plenty of room. Here, we'll go take a look at it. We should have plenty of room to put the air compressor and a 2.5 gallon tank right along in here. Uh, like I said, it, the camper is going to slide down in here where that 2x4 is. So we've already got everything put together, and let's go over and take a look. Now that we've showed you where we're going to put it in the truck, what we've done is we've mounted everything. It's a new compressor, 2.5 gallon tank. We have it set up for bleed air, for you know, pumping up tires and stuff. We'll poke it, put that in there take it down and it'll be up underneath the truck we can't really see where it is it's down in here and we've got it so that we can plug the uh, we've got it so we can plug the uh, air hose in there but what you want to do when you're doing this like this is all mounted to this this wood right here and that's going to fit right down in there real tight we're going to put some double-sided tape on it to make sure that it doesn't move around or jump around but it does fit in there pretty tight. But one thing you want to do when you're building something like this is these <laughs> will leak. Every place that there's a plug, you know, or a sensor or something, they're going to leak. So if you put it in, hook it up, turn it on, you got to leak, you got to take it out and da 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 back and forth. So what I've done is brought it over to the bench and air tested it here. And what I came up with was a little adapter that looked like that. What this adapter does is stick in here and then the air hose from my regular compressor attaches to it there. Let me hook it up and I'll show you what I mean. 
there we go now it's set up for testing so we can go ahead and turn my air compressor on and it'll back feed into the tank it'll pressurize I got it up to about 100 110 pounds something like that and made sure that it wasn't leaking of course of course we had to do it four or five times because you have to take them off and goo them up and put some tape on them and stick them in and but we finally got it to where it does not leak does not leak down here or anything so we know going back to the compressor doesn't leak so now we're ready to set it up in the truck and that's what we're going to do today I think we're ready to go. Okay, the thing we're going to do now is we're going to go put the uh, fuse in the uh, battery side of it. Give it a try, see if it works. Okay, looks like that project's done. The only thing we have left to do is we. Uh, might put some goo around the bottom down there just give it a little uh, uh, so it's not bouncing around much we tried to double sided tape but it really wasn't thick enough so we'll find something to put up underneath there some mastic or something and it'll work it's working horn works there's air to the uh, regulator underneath let me show you let me show you where that is if we got enough lights to hang on here Okay, not sure if you can see it, but here's the outlet right here, which is where you plug the hose in, and the regulator's up here. So it's kind of dark. Let's, let's look at it from the bottom. See, if we can see it. There we go. Here you go. The that's the air chuck regulator. We can turn it up and down, get whatever pressure we need. So we're good to go. We just got. Uh, we just have a few more little projects to do on this. Uh, we've got to run a wire from the front, from the battery, back to the hookup so that we can charge the auxiliary battery in the, uh, in the camper, and we'll be ready to put the camper on. So thanks for watching the In the Shop series, and uh, we're going to have a few more of them down the road we go. Take care. Stay safe. So we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Uh, this in the shop uh, section. Thanks for watching. Well, it's air show time out in Old Bine County, Tennessee.